Hi, for our final project, we set up an intrusion detection and prevention system using Snort. We needed to simulate a typical server client setup. So we installed VMware on a single PC with two virtual machines. We set up VM1 to simulate the server. And on that machine, since Backtrack already has Snort built into it, it's already installed, we use Backtrack as our server machine on VM1. We imported an ISO file for Backtrack into VM1 and we were up and running on that machine. We set up VM2 using Fedora Linux version 15. Again, we found an ISO file for Fedora online. We imported that into VM2 and that's going to simulate our client. In the Backtrack system, we started Snort using the menu system. So we went to Backtrack, Services, Snort Service, Snort Start. Now Snort, Snort is running. Um, but we needed to go in and make some edits to the configuration. The first thing we need to do is put in our own IP address. Snort's configuration doesn't know the IP address for our server. So we're going to use VI Editor or Vim Editor. We chose Vim Editor, just a standard text editor in Linux, to go in and edit the Snort configuration file. Inside the text editor, we're going to scroll down to a line that says var, all caps, home, underscore, net, and then any. And we want to change that, any, to our IP address. So we typed in our IP address. We, um, we saved the file and exited. And then we restarted Snort at the command prompt by typing services Snort restart. Now the magic of Snort is in the rules. You can create rules to block traffic or to merely send alerts. Alerts can be logged to a log file. They can be sent to the console or displayed on the screen. Uh, they can uh, be configured to send an email to someone, or they can be logged to a database, a SQL database. So there are a lot of different options. Um, you can put in specific IP addresses, keywords, or whatnot. Um, for our simple demo, we simply chose to send an alert to the display on our server anytime someone accesses a single website, facebook.com. Okay, and then we could expand the rules from there. But this is a simple rule we set up, and there are a lot of tools again online to find and build whatever kind of rule you want. So we created a new file called social.rules using VI Editor. We type VI space social.rules at the command prompt in Linux. We edited our rule uh, by typing in uh, the rule that we, we built. And then we saved that. And we moved the file into the rules folder for Snort. You also have to go back into the Snort config file. Um, again, we used the Vim editor, same as before. Vim at etc slash Snort slash SnortConf. Uh, to edit our snort config file, we scroll all the way down to the bottom where there's a list of includes um, and rule path. So we're going to add one line called include dollar sign rule path slash social dot rules. That's our new file that we created. We need to include a link to to that file so that snort We'll look it up and, and uh, process our rule. So we're going to save that in the VI editor, our addition there. Now we have Snort configured the way we want it. We just need to run Snort and we should be up and going. So using this command at the command line in Linux, we're going to run Snort. And voila! Our intrusion detection and prevention system should be up and working. 
Now we can check and see uh, snort runs as a background process. So we can look at what processes are running in Linux. And here we see snort is indeed running in the background. So we now have an up and working intrusion detection and prevention system. Now we want to test our brand new intrusion detection system. So we're going to jump over to our client machine, the Fedora 15 machine that we set up. It's on the same network, so any, any access we do there should be monitored by Snort. Um, we're going to open a browser and navigate to Facebook. And shortly after that, we can jump back to our server and backtrack. And sure enough, a message pops up on the screen that someone is visiting Facebook at this time. So Snort has detected that traffic to Facebook and sent the alert message that, that we configured it to send. So our intrusion detection system is working. Now we could expand on that and add intrusion prevention rules if we wanted. Um, we could block certain sites if we wanted. We could set other alerts. Um, we, we could expand on it and build it out however we like. But we have a functioning intrusion detection and intrusion prevention system using SNORT. Thank you.